All right. Hey there, home athletes. Um, you may have looked at the workout that we're doing at the gym today. It's a uh, short, fast-paced, 10-minute uh, time cap workout with some burpees and some barbell stuff. Um, and you're thinking, well, I could probably do that at home because it doesn't have any rower spikes in it. But here at the gym, we're going to be doing some other stuff after the workout. So I've come up with a version of the workout today that's a little bit longer, a little bit more demanding, so you at home can get a good workout in today. You know, I figured, you know, less than 10 minutes, you're gonna be like, well, what else can I do? So this one should take you a little bit longer than the 10 minutes. Um, so I have dumbbell power stanches in there, as you can see, alternating dumbbell power stanches. So by design, we have that descending reps game, as you can see, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10, right? So descending reps game. Each one of those will be split evenly between the arms. That set of 20 will be 10 on each side, set of 18 will be 9 on each side. And of course, we will switch hands every single rep. Dumbbell starts on the floor rep between the feet. We do that. I call this the starting the lawnmower motion, right? We drive the heels to the floor, we extend the hips, we shrug the shoulder, and pull the elbow up. If you've ever started a gas lawnmower, very similar to that. So we start with the legs and hips, pull the elbow high, punch it up overhead, right? Making sure to keep that weight nice and close to the body, nice straight line from the floor to overhead, and then again, switching hands every rep. If you have a dumbbell, maybe you don't have a dumbbell. Maybe you have something like this. I know my friend Kirsten out there, shout out to Kirsten, has a long bar that weighs, I think she said about 19, 17 pounds, something like that. But you could easily do the overhead lunges, squats, and power snatches with that. You know, if you have kind of a heavy bar of some sort. But the exact same movement, right? Keeping the weight nice and close to the body, big jump, bring it up overhead, catch it in one big movement, right? So that would be a good uh, way to go there. And then, to spice things up a little bit, right? You're doing all your snatches, which is a great movement, by the way, using your legs, you're using your hip, you're challenging your core, you're using your shoulders, very full body movement. Then after that, you're gonna be doing a set of 10 lateral over your bar burpees after each set. <clears throat> so every single set, right? The set of 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10. The very last thing you do is you 10 power snatches and then 10 final burpees to finish. This is why it's going to take a little bit longer than 10 minutes. So you'll have your dumbbell or you'll have your bar or you'll have your something. Uh, and you'll hop laterally over it, right? You'll do your usual burpee, down and up. And usually at the top, regular standard burpee, we finish with a little jump and hands up. With our lateral burpees, we're going to come out of that burpee. We're not going to have the hands up. We don't even have to stand up all the way. What we have to do is keep the feet together and jump sideways over that object, right? So burpee, hop, lateral hop, there you go. Um, so yeah, good workout for you today. Snatches, lateral burpees. Not quite sure how long this one's gonna take you, but you should get a good workout in no matter what. All right, thank you my friends. Have fun on this one, talk to you tomorrow.